if you guys been on social media today, you guys know that WWE 2K23 was trending. We're very close to a month into WWE 2K24. We're going right now into that fourth week. And very, very interesting that people were hashtagging WWE 2K23. But if I had to put my two cents, I think I know why. Let's go on ahead and get into it. This game is compared a lot to WWE 2K20, and WWE 2K20 was its own mess. I don't think that this game should not compare to that because it's disrespectful to the product that 2K put out. Now, this product isn't the best, the greatest product ever, but this product is decent. You know, we know that it's buggy universe mode absolutely is the most buggiest thing I think I've played so far, but aside from that, gameplay-wise, the game is very, very strong. So I just don't think that, you know, 2K20 is the comparison you want to give 2K24. I think that is unfair to 24 because I think that 20 was a complete mess compared to this game. And just to go over just some tweets that went down with that hashtag, this person said went back to WWE 2K23. We'll go back to 2K24 when all the patches and DLCs have dropped. So right now the game is extremely buggy. There's a lot of glitches going on, especially with Universe Mode. Like I said before, I think that's where the issue is at. You know, people love Universe Mode. It's the biggest mode in WWE games, you know, and for it to not get the attention that it needs year after year, it seems like it's an ongoing cycle that still has not been fixed. So that is really part of the problem here. And people talking about 2K23 is just crazy. The whole going back the WWE 2K23 thing this doesn't really make that much sense to me I think the game was maybe even buggier in 2K23 I know some things seem to work better than 2K24 I just think it's an unfair judgment when you go to 2K24 you still have the better roster you have the better gameplay universe mode still seems to work to a certain degree it's very very broken but the part that I enjoy the most is being able to choose the third party in robberies something that you were not able to do in WWE 2K23 now when talking about the showcase that's something that has really struggled this year and i think it really really got a horrible review from a lot of people i know some people loved it i know some people hated it and i think more people hated it the showcase for this year's game was very very lackluster and for 2k23 it's much about the same thing so i don't know why people are going back to wwe 2k23 as i don't think that that's really going to change anything i saw people talking about the women's division in wwe 2k23 that it's much better than 2k24 i'll have to go on ahead and revisit that but it's really really crazy that this is trending now you know i think 2k24 overall is a solid game it's just the bugs man i think with a couple more patches and improvements to this game i think it'll be very very different and i think a lot of judgments will change if 2k goes on ahead and executes on those patches for wwe 2k24 now just some improvements that they can go on ahead and do to universe mode is i've noticed that the money in the bank is messed up so like for example your money in the bank winner and there's proof on the screen right now uh you guys see elja dragging off this is a match that elja was not even supposed to be in the match but because he was my money in the bank winner universe mode kept integrating the money in the bank winner into every match that the world heavyweight champion was involved in it was the weirdest thing i had to take the briefcase off elja that way my matches could go on in peace without him so just little things like that definitely need to be looked at and i think that's more of a bigger glitch honestly speaking because you literally can't fight a match with the actual wwe champion if that briefcase is aimed to cash in on that because after a while they'll start putting the participant in the match unknowingly invisible entrances messed up managers you know there's so much that goes on and having to actually delete managers and, and allies from wrestlers that way they don't pop up as a manager in the universe mode match there's a lot wrong with universe mode and i think it's the mode that has suffered the most this year in spite of everything else i don't think it got the deserved attention that it deserved and it just really is quite unfortunate man i hope down the line in the future we do get some big big improvements to wwe 2k24's universe mode at this point i don't really expect nothing too crazy but at least polish it to the point where things work and it's not glitched the invisible entrances are actually insane like you'll put them in a tag team match and then you have two managers and sometimes they won't even come up maybe just the managers come out just things like that it has to be worked on i get people's frustration but i think it's an unfair judgment to say that this game is worse than wwe 2k23 i think this game is much better i think the longevity is there is it a lot similar yeah i think it's similar but i think the quality of life changes that they made 
do help the game but nonetheless i think they need to keep polishing and patching this game i know people are saying this game has been only out a month and i get it you know everything is very very complex with the next generation consoles and i'm sure they're being held back by uh the last gen consoles but people pay 120 dollars for this game you know at this point i've gotten to the point in games that i don't expect everything to work off rip but when the bugs are game breaking in a way in terms of universe mode i think that's a problem you know and i think that a pass should not be given for that because at the end of the day we're paying our hard-earned money if you can't fix it then figure something out because at the end of the day like i said 120 bucks plus tax that's what i shelled out and that's what a lot of other people shelled out and if you didn't pay 120 dollars, you paid 70 dollars or 100 dollars. and at the end of the day we all work for our money so that's just me, man. That's just my two cents with this situation. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys think it's an unfair judgment for WWE 2K24 users to be hashtagging and have WWE 2K23 trending? I'm going to catch you guys. Peace.